treating some lingering symptoms from COVID-19 with stem cells. It's being done at a lab right here in the Houston area. Houston's only television health reporter Haley Hernandez tells about the work being done in Sugarland. One of the most common questions I get from viewers is asking about ways to revive their taste and smell after a COVID infection. Right now, data indicates it can last months in about a third of all COVID patients. And a psychologist tells me losing those senses is a source of depression in patients, but it's just one of many long-term symptoms that a lab in Sugarland is looking to treat with stem cells. Here at Hope Sciences in Sugarland, Donna Chang is a world leader when it comes to using stem cells to treat disease. A stem cell is a cell that has no identity. It can basically become whatever your body tells it to become. She's patented a way to multiply stem cells unlike anywhere else. In their lab, they look like this. And this is a true to life replication, she says, because this is what cells normally look like when they regenerate on their own. This has been the key to unlocking how they may be able to treat many diseases, including the chronic symptoms of coronavirus. And the FDA approves. They were so convinced that this may be an effective tool after her data with only 10 patients. They've approved one eight times this size. That's where you come in. Between the third and the fourth infusion, we saw almost 100% resolution in those patients. For everyone desperate to regain their sense of taste and smell, tired of feeling tired and sick of headaches, this may be the trial for you. Who can participate? After COVID, suffer from persistent symptoms that haven't gone away for at least six months. We expect people to um, still have symptoms such as loss of taste or smell, brain fog. We do need patients to have at least one um, neurological symptom. You have to be generally healthy and available for follow-ups for a year. And if it works... In a very short period of time, relative to how long they've had long COVID, this can be resolved. I have done previous reports warning about stem cell infusions because the truth is you don't want to get them from just about anywhere. The FDA has a big warning about that too. They say you only want to be involved in receiving stem cells if you're part of a clinical trial. If you're interested in participating in this one, I'm linking you to the application in the article for this report on click2houston.com. I'm health reporter Haley Hernandez, KPRC 2 News.